Jupiter, giant among the planets. Two Voyager spacecraft visited Jupiter in 1979. Through their eyes, we made discovery after surprising discovery about this mammoth planet and its 16 satellites, this solar system in miniature. As profound as those discoveries were, we know there is still more to be learned. So NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory are mounting a new mission to continue our exploration. The mission is called Galileo a return to Jupiter. NASA's space shuttle will launch Galileo on its journey in 1985. Galileo consists of an orbiter and an atmospheric probe. The spacecraft will cruise for 20 months across the solar system, nearing Jupiter in the summer of 1987. Near Jupiter, the orbiter and the probe will separate. The probe, carrying six instruments, will descend into the planet's clouds to take the first direct samples of that storm-wracked atmosphere. Meanwhile, the orbiter will start circling Jupiter. Its scientific quest will have begun. During its 20-month mission, the orbiter will observe Jupiter at close range. It will explore the planet's radiation belts and conduct detailed studies of all the major satellites. Ancient ice-encrusted Callisto. Ganymede, the largest satellite in the solar system. Ice-covered Europa. and the fascinating satellite EO. When Voyager 1 passed EO, it discovered eight living volcanoes, the only active eruptions ever seen anywhere but Earth. Galileo will send to Earth data from the most detailed study ever made of Jupiter, a study that surely would have delighted Galileo Galilei the first scientist ever to turn a telescope on the distant planets. In 1610, using an instrument he built himself, Galileo saw four satellites orbiting Jupiter. Proof to him that the long-cherished dogma which held that the Earth is the center of the universe was false. Over the centuries, Galileo and his followers peered at Jupiter and its satellites, observing cataloging, measuring their findings. But from Earth, Jupiter is a dim, distant target. Finally, in the early 1970s, NASA launched two spacecraft toward Jupiter, Pioneers 10 and 11. They gave us our first close glimpse of the giant planet. But the real leap in knowledge came in 1979 when the two voyagers spent eight months studying Jupiter. We learned more during those eight months than during all the 369 years before. What could be seen only hazily from Earth now appeared with startling clarity. The great red spot, a puzzle to astronomers for more than 300 years, turned out to be a huge storm, three times the size of the planet Earth spinning counterclockwise every six days. We saw billowing clouds whipped by wings that blow many hundreds of miles an hour. Discovered giant superbolts of lightning crackling in the cloud tops. And found that Jupiter too has a ring of dust and rock, like the rings that circle Saturn and Uranus. And we glimpsed new satellites circling Jupiter just tiny black dots against the brilliant clouds. Great as those discoveries are, they only cracked open the door to our understanding. Now with Galileo, we are returning to open wider the doors to the vistas of knowledge about the king of planets.